Hey guys, it's Shauna. Um, so I'm sorry if you're hearing some noise. I actually just had to shut my windows because my dad is mowing the lawn outside and it was there was no way I was going to be able to make a proper video with the windows open. I was hoping I could because it's really nice outside, but the lawnmower is too loud. So um, today I'm going to be making um, a Harry Potter video as usual and some of the things I'm going to be showing it's pretty it's not going to be a very very long video um, because this part of my collection is kind of small and I think I've shown pretty much every single one of these things in one of my videos but I thought I would kind of have this be a special Harry Potter themed collection video instead of just kind of like a bunch of stuff and you can kind of see I'm sitting in a different place in my room today you can kind of see some of my collection you see you can see um, the majority of my Funko Pops I have there you can see my Hogwarts Crest poster my Harry Potter wall sticker and then that's the poster that uh, I got with when I bought the Cursed Child it's got Dumbledore's uh, one of the Dumbledore quotes on it and here's a poster. I did make a video where I'm showing you guys all of my posters, but I've yet to post that yet. So I'll get to that eventually. Oh, excuse me. Um, so today's video is going to be all of my Harry Potter themed jewelry that I have. So I'll show you all of the um, pieces of jewelry that I have, and then I will go over where I got all of the jewelry so I can kind of help you guys figure out where you can get some of the jewelry. So the first one I'm going to show you, I actually had worn this a couple times in some of my Harry Potter videos, and um, I believe I showcased it saying that um, part of my collection. So um, it's a necklace that looks like this. It has a wand on it ooh, and a feather. So the theme of this necklace is a Hermione themed necklace. Um, where I got it on the website, they messed up and said that the wand was Harry's, but it is not. It is actually Hermione's. And you can see the vines going all the way pretty much around it, just like her wand, which I also have, which is hiding on my dresser. That like long stick thing right in front of my clock. And then this is a feather, and it says when Gaudium Leviosa on it. Because we all know that in the first film and in the book, that is her most if not one of her most famous lines when she's telling Ron that he's saying Leviosa instead of Leviosa so I really 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 like it I'm not really liking the chain that it's on though it smells weird and it like it like makes me feel like it gets like sticky feeling when I like wear so I might take it off with the chain and put it on a different chain so that's my one of my necklaces and I love that um, another necklace that I have was one that, here, I don't want to get them all tangled. No! I don't know what's happening right now. Okay, cool. Here we go. Um, one that my friend got me for my birthday back in March, because March is my birthday month. So, it is the Gryffindor crest, because I am a Gryffindor. And I really like it. Also, a weird smelling chain. And then this little bar thing here says Gryffindor on it. So, that was cool. I didn't have to buy that myself. <laughs> There's my Gryffindor necklace. And then this other neck, these necklaces, they were actually a set. And I thought it was like one necklace and both of these charms were on it but when my um when it came in the mail with from the place that I got it from which I'll go through once I show all of my necklaces um I it was two separate necklaces so these two next uh, necklaces that I'm about to show you are Luna Lud I can't speak Luna Lovegood themed so here is this first one it's a little speech bubble and it has one of her famous quotes on it that says I suspect the Nargles were behind it, or are behind it. So, yes, I love that line. I just love her voice. I suspect the Nargles are behind it. I just love how she talks. She's so cute. 
And then the classic specs are the other necklace. So they're really, really cute. I have yet to wear my Luna ones out. I wish they weren't gold because I, I don't really own a lot of clothes that go with gold. Um, I wear a lot more silver, but that's okay. I love these. So those are my Luna ones. And then this is my last piece of jewelry that um, I will not be wearing as jewelry. I just kind of hang it from my um, poster um, frame. And it's my time turner. So I ordered this off eBay. So I'll tell you where I got this. I got this off eBay and it was only a dollar sixty-eight. It was like two something. I don't even know if I paid tax. So it's really pretty. I mean, it's not in super duper good shape. You know, it's not like a if you were to get, uh, you know, it off the Noble collection where, um, I mean, the Harry Potter things are basically. It's like we took this from set. It's that good, even though they didn't. So here it is. And I love the sand. It just goes so quick. And if you wanted to wear it as a necklace, it has like this like hoop hole thing. It's like a hole and then it's got the little bar and then you just kind of slip it through and then it'll sit like that and has the uh, the quote around it. I mark the hours every one nor have ugh, I yet outrun the sun's blah 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 and then it's really hard to read but you know you know the little quote thing that's up and then it has like the little stars throwing little stars around it. so for a dollar sixty eight I'm probably not gonna wear it and I just wanted a time turner to have a, like a decent kind of time turner to hang in my room because I had the time turner from the sticker box um, the Harry Potter sticker boxes but like I mean that was really like cheap and that was like ten dollars. I got that for my birthday, so I didn't have to pay for that. But I probably would not buy a time turner. I mean, the box that it came in when I got it—it it was when I turned eighteen, and I'm twenty-three right now. Um, the box is a, is different looking now than it was then. So maybe it's like better quality. I don't know. But why I like the sticker boxes is you get really cool stickers with it, as well as the um, this whatever like you can get with a sticker box as I'm going off trail here. Um, I have some of them. So my Hermione's wand was a sticker box that was thirteen or twelve ninety five because her wand lights up and you can only get her wand um, her wand, Harry's wand and Voldemort's wand in the in the um, in the sticker boxes where they like light up. You can get another wand. It's just says like a a um, character wand or something like that even though it's actually Harry's um, and you like put it together and it's more like wooden that one doesn't light up so that was nine ninety five. so they all come with stickers Voldemort's is really cool because his holder that it comes in like Hermione's is just like this little dome thing that says Harry Potter's but Voldemort's is awesome it's a Nagini it's Nagini and it sits in there and then Harry's is like I have Harry's wand and like the pen bookmark thing but I don't have it in the light up one. I'll get it eventually. Um, and then you can also get Hedwig in the sticker books, which I have, the Time Turner, Horcrux, a snow globe, which I really want, which my Barnes and Nobles have not had yet. I really want the snow globe on. Um, you can get like a mini version of one of the coloring books. And that's all I can think of for right now. I'm probably forgetting one of them, but I can't think of it. Oh, the snitch. You can get the snitch. That's it. I don't know. All right, so that is all of my jewelry. So I'm just going to now go through and tell you where um, you can get Harry Potter related jewelry. So obviously, I got my time turner off of eBay, so you can get it off of eBay. Don't be fooled. A lot of the time turners on eBay are about 168. It looked like it was going to come in the box that it comes in if you were get it from the Noble Collection, where you can actually hold it. It does not. It's just the picture that they took from the Noble Collection. So, but it's still in really nice shape. I wouldn't suggest wearing it because I overheard on a video, I'm not exactly sure where the girl got it, but like she got a time turner necklace, not from like the Noble Collection, probably from online, and it turned her neck green. So not exactly sure if it was one of these, but I don't plan on wearing it. And I actually like, when I got it before I heard that that could happen, I wasn't planning on wearing it. 
Um, so yeah, you can pretty much like go out, look on eBay if you want to find anything now, um, or Amazon probably. Um, now all of the other necklaces that I showed you, so um, Hermione's wand and then when Gaudi and Leviosa feather, the Gryffindor crest, and the two Luna ones, they all came from Hot Topic. Um, so Hot Topic is really like the greatest place to go for Harry Potter related items if you're not going to be making it down to the Wizarding World in Florida or in California or over at the exhibition or the, uh, the studio tour um, anytime soon or ever in your life. I really hope it's just in not anytime soon for me but it will eventually happen. I would love to go to the Wizarding World. Um, probably will never make it over to London, unfortunately, but maybe in my honeymoon and because I will always love Harry Potter and if it's still there, I would love to go and possibly California might be, but, uh, the Universal in Florida is my most realistic place and I guess it's like the best one for like the theme park. It's bigger than Universal's. Um, so you can probably get some stuff down there, obviously, but, um, Hot Topic is like my, at least my number one place to go. For all my Harry Potter related things, 95% of the things I got Harry Potter related have come either from Hot Topic or from Barnes and Nobles. But if you want to get jewelry, Hot Topic is your place to go. I don't think FYE has jewelry, but they also have a very, very good Harry Potter selection. So um, that is for for the jewelry, Hot Topic, number one place to go. So, um, and just in general, like I, I've gone over this in like my collection videos, but I'll reiterate it again. The greatest places to get your Harry Potter things that aren't the Wizarding World or the Studio Tour are in my 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 order are Hot Topic, then Barnes and Nobles, and then I would say Fye because at least at Fye and Hot Topic you can get clothing like shirts and pants and stuff, but at Fye is mostly shirts. Hot Topic is like the best place because you can get purses, wallets, the um, the po pretty much the only thing you can't get are the books and the movies. <laughs> so that's why Barnes and Nobles and Fye will be good for the at least the movies. But Barnes and Nobles is a great place for like books, um, the puzzles, um, the movies. Obviously, I just saw some vinyls of the soundtracks. I saw the vinyl for Half Blood Prince and Deathly Hollows Part One, which I would love to get. Um, but yeah, so those are like my number one places to go in Kohl's and, um, which is a North American store. Not exactly sure if Kohl's is a nationwide thing, um, store, but they are great for Harry Potter related shirts as well. So guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed and are now interested in maybe picking up some of the jewelry that I also have. And I also hope that it was very helpful to give you some tips if you didn't know of stores that have great Harry Potter selections. So I love you guys. Always remember to think optimistically. Always remember to keep magic in your life. And always remember that you guys are beautiful. Bye!